Today we are going to be talking about how to make a travel video for YouTube. Let's get into it! Whoa, I'm gonna fall off the rock. I would say we were good together. Let's get into it! In today's video, we are going to be looking at how to make the perfect travel video specifically for YouTube. You might think that a video is just a video and you can put it on Facebook or YouTube, but what you have to understand is that every platform is a beast of its own design. And YouTube is a monster that has a very, very specific recipe that you need to use if you want to be successful on that platform. Whoa! The tide is coming up. YouTube is basically the new age TV and there's a couple of things that you need to look out for if you want to make a travel video that is optimized for this platform. There are four subjects or four topics that I want to go into that will sort of break down what it means to make a travel video specifically for YouTube. I'm going to start with the first one and that is the topic of trending. I can hurt you like you hurt me too. Human beings love a good trend and it's no wonder that since social media has become such a daily sort of part of our lives that trending is a very very big topic in that field. Travel videos in themselves are a trending topic on YouTube. Never before have people traveled as much as they are doing right now and with the access to smartphones and, and technology that is just make, making video creation so easy it is no wonder and it is no doubt in my mind that travel videos will stop being a trend on YouTube anytime soon. However, I do want to go a little bit deeper into the topic than just saying travel vids are trending. You need to understand what the trends are in the travel video genre. To understand what the trends are in the travel video sphere, you're going to have to look at who the trendsetters are of the time. If we look at sort of 2017, even in 2018 now, Sam Calder is becoming a household name in travel videos. If you don't know who he is yet, then do yourself a favor and go watch a couple of his videos to see what the, the special tricks are that he's using. I'll, I'll give them to you right now. He uses the, the zoom transitions and luma fades, which people have exploded all over the internet wanting to use themselves. It's great to learn how to use these things and where to place them. If you're just using them pointlessly, I, I can tell you now, don't do it. Don't copy the trendsetters, but definitely research them to be aware of what is happening at the time. And you can use them in, in small doses just to enhance the video, but don't overuse them just for the sake of following the trend. Look at it, sort of make a judgment of if this tip or trick, like a certain type of transition, is going to be good for your video, and, and use it if it is, but if it isn't, don't force the subject. Keep it simple because it doesn't date your video then and it might, your video might only trend in three years time. Uh, so keep it neutral and just focus on making a good video by being original, not copying other people. Chapter number two, a travel video style. Now there are a whole range of different styles of travel videos. Some people like to do the vlogs, some people like to do the music video style. You know, you need to pick the style that's going to suit your sort of abilities in, in filmmaking as well as your abilities to tell a story. Some people don't like to talk to camera so they stick to purely sort of that two to three minute music video style travel video. You know the ones with the guys back flipping off cliffs and the girls in bikinis. My advice would be to start as a travel video vlogger. What does it mean to be a travel video vlogger? Well, very simply put, it's the training wheels you're going to need to start talking to camera to tell better stories. Filmmaking at the end of the day is all about telling a story. And the more that you do the vlogging and you talk to the camera, the more you'll understand how to tell a good story. As you get better and better at this, you can start aiming towards making those travel video, music videos in the future. But what you need to understand is that those travel music videos are done by 
professionals. They're telling a story without words because they're using incredible shots that take sometimes teams of people to create. If we take Jay Alvarez, for example, I mean, that is a production video. Uh, there, there are other cameramen filming him. He's not doing it himself. So don't go out on vacation thinking, I can pull off a Jay Alvarez video without actually trying to tell the story first. So learn to tell the story, and to do that, you're going to want to become a travel video vlogger first. And my second tip in the travel video style is that I think you should pre-select your music. In the beginning, once you get into having your own style further down the road, you don't have to worry about this, but in the beginning, go to a music library or to one of the YouTube channels, find a track for yourself, listen to it a few times, and go, this is the, this is the song that I want to make a travel video to. What this will do for you is it'll start setting the pace and start giving you the ideas you need to develop that story and that video. For example, if the song is very upbeat, you're going to probably shoot much quicker, more exciting B-roll clips as opposed to a slower, more romantic track where you'll get slower shots. So think of that music ahead of time because it'll actually manifest in your story. Speaking of which, topic number three, your story. What you need to understand is that there's two different levels of telling stories in travel videos on YouTube. The first one is in the topic we just spoke about. It's the story of the video itself, which lives over here. But there's another story and it sits above that. And that is your personal story or your channel story. So ultimately what I'm actually talking about here is, does your video align with your channel's story? Everybody on the planet has different tastes and different interests. One person might like architecture and the next person might like food. Architecture. Food. I like the beach. And because I like the beach, I have selected the location for this shoot to be the beach. Because I'm in my happy space and this is a video that connects with me, who I am and the channel we've created. If you look back at the last couple of videos that um, we've done on travel vids, a lot of them have been at the beach. So how does this apply to you and your travel video on YouTube? Very simple. What is your interest? Tell yourself in a mirror, that is my interest. And when I go to that place on my travels, that is the thing I want to focus on the most. So let's take food for just, just a moment as an example. And you are traveling to Rome. I've come to Rome and I'd like to film the pizza and the beer and the wine and the pasta. Staying true to your interest will keep the video engaging. It'll make you more excited about making this video. And on top of that, next time you go and travel somewhere, you'll be making another video in a similar feel that will complement the other video. In other words, promoting your channel. Pick that theme and stick to it on your shoots because when you're shooting, you'll actually be able to have more fun and you also save time, not wondering, oh, should I film this or should I film that? Stay focused on the thing that you enjoy the most. YouTube is a platform that is still growing and it's developing and it's changing all the time and it's changing fast. Some of the things that we're noticing at the moment is that longer videos are actually becoming more admirable. That is because YouTube is fast becoming the replacement for TV. It's the modern TV. And people are looking for content that will keep them engaged and entertained for longer periods of time. The short, short attention span videos are something that are best suited to Facebook. But we're not talking about Facebook today, we're talking about YouTube and we're talking about television content. So what this means is you can actually start making videos that are longer and telling more elaborate stories. Give yourself the space and time to tell the full story in your video. And although YouTube is enjoying longer content, there's one thing it likes more than that, and that is consistency, to keep putting content out. So if you wanna grow that following, and if you want people to see your content, you've gotta put it out regularly. So take that long video and chop it up into little episodes and put one out every few days at a consistent rate, at a consistent time. This way, YouTube will pick up on that and go, hey, I like this person they're somebody we can trust. 
One more little tip specifically for YouTube is that you must make use of the tools that they give you. It is their platform at the end of the day, so play by their rules. These are, for example, using the cards, the end screens, the thumbnails, the description, and the tags. You need to get all of these things right before you publish. When you're in the upload screen of YouTube, and it doesn't give you those options to set the cards, so what you need to do is go make your video unlisted first, open it up in the editing background, the creator studio, fix up everything, and then you publish. Because if you do it ahead of time, you're actually wasting a massive opportunity. So get all your YouTube stuff right first before you post. We created over 200 videos and we had to learn the hard way because we didn't get all of that stuff right. And that is why our following is only growing much later. So take it from me, we learned the hard way, but we definitely know it's working now. Take your time, fix your video properly before you post it. In conclusion, be aware of the fact that YouTube is a very specific platform with very specific needs. They're very, very easy things to follow. And actually by listening to the stuff that I've said in this video, it'll make your own life easier. That was how to make a travel video for YouTube. My name's Dean Parman. You're watching TravelVids.tv. See you on the next one. Just an update on the review videos, just to let you know, we will be continuing that, but on a one-to-one -one basis. What this means is that if you would like your video checked by us, then you need to contact us. We'll have a look at your video. We'll give you some advice, some tips, some uh, feedback on what we think uh, was great, what could be better. Um, and we will only publish the public ones when people actually want it seen publicly. But other than that, we're going to keep it on a private consultancy basis. So let us know if you want us to check your travel video in one of our travel video reviews. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, check out these four cards over here. These are the last few travel video reviews that we've done uh, that have gone out to the public. My work here is done.